Mike the Troop Jackson here at Legacy 15. I'm here with the chosen one, Angel Huerta. Yeah. Impressive performance. Um, you were taking on a, an opponent who wanted to trash talk with you a little bit. Uh, Cajo Puto. He called me a puto. Man. <laughs> that means. Uh, uh, did he really? Uh, yeah, he called him puto. What, what did that do? How did that affect the, uh, the game? It really didn't affect me at all. Man. When we were in elementary, you know, maybe it might have got under my skin, but we're professionals, man. We got to go in there and just stick to our game plan. You know, anybody. Who was your game plan going to the fight with? Uh, with him, I knew he was going to try to take me down, but I knew I had better wrestling. I've been working with Grant Johnson at Paradigm uh, all the time, and Brandon Mullins over at uh, Dracolino's Gracie Baja, man. So I knew he was going to try to take me down. I knew my footwork was key. My boxing was going to be key, thanks to Aaron Navarro. And, um, you know, I just felt like he was going to try to push me up against the cage and try to take me down. So we worked diligently, man, on takedown defense, switching things around, and just using footwork, using angles, and staying relaxed, man. After my last fight, I came out way too hard, way too emotional, and I learned my lesson. And, you know, we just did it, man. We executed our game plan perfectly. Definitely. Uh, in the first <laughs> round, as soon as you came out, like you said, uh, you, he did put you against the cage. but. Did he? He, he did, uh, but you used your footwork. But you used your footwork. You you didn't stay in one spot. Uh, you were hopping. I can actually see the cameras moving. They were trying to keep up with you. You were moving so much. Um, and then you were using, the, like you said, you had uh, you had the great boxing, um, and you were using. You were sticking and moving with them. Um, and then you caught him with a hard shot. Um, I knew I caught him with one good right hand. Uh, that kind of stunned him a little right. bit. I saw his knee buckle, and I was like, all right, cool, just stay calm. Because last time when I dropped the uh, uh, Salas, right. you know, I went ape shit and right. <laughs> ended up gassing out and stuff like that. So, uh, so you I just stayed relaxed. Yeah, I tried to stay relaxed. I said, okay, I got him. And then I knew what everything that I was throwing was landing. So I was like, okay, he can't handle my speed. Just stay relaxed, and it's just a matter of time before I hit him with something that takes him out. So Definitely. You did hit him with something. I believe it was a, a right hook, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, that dropped him. Now, when you dropped him, did you know he was out? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I saw him buckle. I mean, I'm not trying to really hurt anybody, but, you know, I just wanted to make sure I could take him out with the rest stop the right away. And that was it. Right. Uh, and the opponent actually threw a triangle up. They didn't get official. Uh, oh, damn. <laughs> but the official had good posture. <laughs> put the hands on his hips and he postured yeah. up to, you know, to prevent him being put in the triangle. Man, well, you got the W, man. Congratulations. Wow. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it.